Good morning for all. Today I will present a lecture about my assignment, <coughs> LSTF 2034, about the method of the network D. So today I will proceed some paper content that is introduction scenario, network design, some paper, and also problem to solve. So first, I will write to the introduction network scenario. <coughs> So uh, as a land engineering by TVC University University College, and I have been asked to <coughs> design and set up a local area network for university college. In this university college have a different department and factory. In location A, they have a Potentially management department on the third floor, administrative department on the second floor, finance department on the first floor, <clears throat> and admission department and marketing department on the ground floor. And factory has innovation and technology, factory of business and law, factory of health, medical science, factory of social science and leisure management. In between location A and location B, they have a distance of 100 meters. And each of the department and factory is required to have its own subnet. So this table will show total of costs required each department, each department and factory need. <coughs> but in the scenario, they have uh, mentioned about all the factually need divide twenty percent for the host. So <clears throat> in first we need to find out the total of host required for each development and factory. So for factory we need to times twenty percent so we we can get the total host factory. For department no need. And second thing is <clears throat> we need to decide what class we need to use it for sanitary IP and uh sanitary IP. We need to use class A or B and C. So I and my teammate are decide use uh class C for location A <clears throat> and class B for location B. So in this picture, you can <clears throat> see class A, class C can consist of 254 costs that is enough for the that enough for the location A department, and actually it's more more than 1,000 and 2,000 of work. So we need to use class B. Class B can consist. 6 million with 5 hosts per network. <clears throat> and third is what type of network topology we want to design it. So in network topology, they have a five type. They have a six type. One is star, three, pass, ring, mass, and hybrid. And we decide to use three to design the network design. <clears throat> so uh, for our network design, it will be like this. <clears throat> we have a two router and one router is for location A and one router is for location B. So that's all for my part. Thank you. Hi, I'm Yui Jun. I will continue to present our assignment. So my part is for assign the IP address. And based on the scenario, we will separate two locations. One is location A for department, location B is for faculty. And after calculate the host request, we will assign the 
you need subnet address, prefix, first usable address, last usable address, four card address, and subnet mark to each department and faculty. So this is the location A department. This is the location B faculty. And one more, we will assign the IP address for router to router. So next is the addressing table. For the addressing table, router zero will be support or serve the location A department. And they will use the interface is gigabyte. And then uh, the location A have five switch and the IP address is is get for the subnet table, the first usable table, first usable host, and then the subnet might also get for the subnet table, and this is the location B, and same like above, but it, the IP address is using the 172.16.0.1. So the next is the switch. Uh, the location A is have five switch and the interface is use the VLAN one and the IP address and Sunday mask is and the, the default gateway is get on the Sunday table and the IP address is a second usable host on the Sunday table and this is the location B switch address so for the location A and device address is finance department. Uh, the device name is PC2 and laptop 2. The interface is using the network card. So the IP address is using the range uh, assigned to them for each department. So location B is also the same thing. This is the other example inside the location A and location B. So next is the setup the switch and end device outer and here will be the code for assign the IP address subnet marks inside the router and this is the way to assign the VLAN one for the IP address and the subnet mask. And you need to, the important thing is you need to assign the IP default gateway for the switch because you need to send out the message to other location. You need to using the default gateway. So the second thing you will double confirm, you can double confirm is you put your mouse on the switch icon. You will show the, all the what you are setting. So you go to VNM1 to view it. And this is the setting password. So based on the scenario, we will three to three password you set. First is the line virtual terminal. Second is the line console zero. The third one is enable secret password. So after you key in this tree. It will uh, let you, when you log in, you, you will key the password and enable also key the password. So this is the way for our end device setting the IP address and default gateway inside the mask. So let's first to test the, the PCD. So we're going to test two way to send the PCD. So first way we send using the letter. So you will see if you default gave a key correctly in the line, it will send out the PCD to a router. And then also this the faculty also need to set the default gateway. So you will respond the message. Then 
they send back if you they need to send back this also need to set the IP address and uh, the IP default okay, right? so if they can send to the end device your specific and send back to the source device they mean your your setting is correct so let us I think that's all for our presentation. Thank you.